Okay, it's one of those rare occasions where I wear the same jersey two times in a row. And why is that? Because I want to get into a little bit of NHL history with you. Um, looking back to the 1917-1918 season, I was about 14 years... No, I wasn't. Um, I just look like I was. Stop it. Uh, this was a league created out of a league that had died. The National Hockey Association was that league. Um, it included Montreal Canadiens, Ottawa Senators, Montreal Wanderers, Quebec Bulldogs, and some team named the Toronto Blue Shirts, or the Toronto Torontos. Toronto didn't actually have a, na have a name for their team until after they won the Stanley Cup the first time. You know that, right? Anyhow, um, it's interesting because we always hear about how the Toronto Arenas were an expansion team in 1917. I look at history and I say, that's kind of with a wink. See, the NHA, National Hockey Association's Toronto, Toronto's, Toronto Blue Shirts, Toronto, whatever you want to call them, had an owner named Eddie Livingston. And according to the history books I've been reading, he was very unpopular with his fellow owners. He only had four or five. So the fact that these other owners all said, you know what, we're going to start our own league. And we're going to start it with all of the same teams except that guy's. Tells you just how strongly they disliked him. Um, and and the NHA had had some issues with attendance. Their attendance was pretty bad. And this is at a time where a good attendance figure would be like 3,000, 2,000. Hockey was not what it is now. It was nowhere near. It was a Bush League thing played by just a certain group of Canadians. And there were other leagues that were doing very well. Uh, Pacific Coast Hockey Association, PCHA, was a very viable option for players. And I've been looking through all these history books, and what's what's kind of struck me is we have all of these legendary NHL names thrown at us. These guys are these guys were the all-time greats. There were some all-time greats that played in leagues that just didn't survive, and they may very well have been just as good, if not better, than some of the NHL legends that we know of now. But we don't hear about them because they were in the leagues that lost. Um. It was a weird season in that the Wanderers building burned down when they were 1-5, and five, so their second half was fire. Uh, they were 1-5 and five in the first half, and their second half was fire. Because with after six games, their building burns down, and they go, yeah, tabernacle, we don't care, we're done. Um, every team that was supposed to play them for the rest of that, that first half got an automatic win. Um, and uh, so Montreal ended up 10-4 and four in that first half, Toronto 8-6. and six. And Ottawa five and nine. Uh, in the second half, again, remember the Wanderers were off the schedule. This is why it's only an eight-game half. Montreal was three and five. Toronto's five and three. Ottawa's four and four. The first half winners Montreal. The second half winners Toronto. They face off in the playoffs. So when people talk about how the Toronto Maple Leafs, as the Toronto Arenas, won a Stanley Cup as an expansion team, it was against two other teams. It is a little bit different than comparing it to anything that goes on from 1920 forward. Um, and this is the only time that I'll be able to do standings with three giant magnets on the board. Uh, leading the way in goals that year, Joel Malone had 44. That record would stand for a long time until Maurice Richard beat that record. Remember, that's in 22 games. So those 44 goals may be pedestrian by most standards, but it was in 22 games. Now, leading the league in assists, Cy Denony, Reg Noble, and Harry Cameron had 10 assists each. So, the NHL hadn't invented the forward pass. Uh, they had, didn't have the red line yet. Yeah, it was a little different than the way we play it now. And uh, the Pacific Coast League was using, a, using seven players on the ace, including the goalie, because they had the rover. So, in the finals, you'd have uh, Pacific Coast rules and NHL rules, depending on where it was home. It was like American League and National League in baseball. Um, so with those totals in mind, in the NHL Finals, it was a two-game total goal series. Toronto wins Game 1 7-3, which means that losing 4-3 in Game 2 gave them the title by a final score of 10-7. to I thought this was useful to use, too, right now, because we're, we're uh, in the infancy of, of the 2018 World Cup and finding out what that's going to be in soccer. And here we are with hockey having a two-games-most-goals-wins situation for their Finals. That's kind of fun. Um, in the cup finals, it's a best of five. 
Toronto wins over the Vancouver Millionaires in Game 1, 5-3. Vancouver wins 6-4 in Game 2. Game 3 is won by Toronto, 6-3. Vancouver wins Game 4, 8-1. And then Game 5, Toronto wins 2-1 to to win the Stanley Cup in 5. Meaning that, yes, at this point in time, the Stanley Cup was not awarded to the NHL winner. It was awarded to a cup winner between the NHL and the challenge from the Pacific Coast League. Uh, the Bulldogs opted out that year. So Quebec, uh, Montreal, Toronto, and Ottawa all said, all right, we're going to be together, and the Montreal Wanderers, we're all going to be together. And uh, Eddie Livingston said, uh, can I come? And they said no. And it it reminds me, all I think of with this is the Stonecutters episode from Simpsons where they decide they don't want to be Stonecutters anymore. They just want to be the no homers. This National Hockey League was the no Eddie Livingston's club because I can't find what else really changed. What's interesting is when players who had played for the Toronto Torontos, and they were called the Torontos up until they won that cup, they weren't called the arenas until after they won it. Um, Livingstone tried suing the players who played for Toronto. For every game they played for the Toronto arenas, he's tried suing them. Like, you owe me this amount of money because I own you. And they're like, you don't. You don't have a team. You don't have a league. You don't own us. So, um, players from that era were kind of snippy towards him. And I, I don't remember how much. I think it was like $200 he was trying to sue them for each game. Which, when you think about it, that's 100 years ago. It's like, it's it's ridiculous. Um, of course, you know, conspicuous by being on here is the fact that the Ottawa Senators are on here. I did use a current Ottawa Senators logo. This is not the Ottawa Senators franchise that currently exists. Uh, this franchise would move. We'll get to that. I intend to do every year of the NHL's existence and do just an overview like this and a look at how things went. Uh, and it was that year that the, the Toronto Arenas as an expansion team, uh, won, <laughs> won the Stanley Cup. And that when I read up on this, I was like, you know what, Shannon, you've got to do a video series. You've got to start with this one because the whole expansion team thing is kind of ridiculous because it was virtually the same team that had been in the National Hockey Association the year before. So this is the first year of the NHL. So this is a brand new league. It doesn't matter who's an expansion team. <clears throat> and it was just, we don't want that guy with us. We're not with him. So the he could have been the first NLL, the No Livingston League. Um, and it's really kind of funny to think about how awful does somebody have to be that you create a brand new league to get away from them and to create a new system where you can make money rather than whatever he was trying to do that was costing everybody money. And uh, this league would struggle. The NHL was not... A particularly profitable league off the off the hop and there were players who were really good that would quit to go and find jobs because you couldn't make money playing hockey um to the point where if you were offered a good job you wouldn't go man i love hockey but i'm gonna go get a regular job because i can make more money so that's how far back we're looking and uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed this because i intend to make a series out of this but uh yeah nhl history 1917 1918 the first year in the nhl the expansion, Toronto, no Livingstons, won the Stanley Cup. So, just a little piece of history for you guys. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. I'll talk to you again soon.